This recording is going to be over angles. All right, when you're talking about angles, um, we need to figure out what an angle is. So an angle is formed where two rays, so where two rays meet at a common endpoint. So a common endpoint. Okay, and both of the rays are called sides of an angle, and the common endpoint is called the vertex of an angle. So let's look at this diagram. Um, the legs or the sides of this angle is called a ray. So these are actually called the sides. And where these two sides come together, right here, is called the vertex. Okay, The vertex will always be in the middle of an angle. So whatever letters in the middle of the angle is called the vertex. So where the sides meet is called the vertex. And this in here is called the angle. Now when you name angles, looking at the same diagram, angles can be named in different ways. The angle shown below may be named using three different notations. First of all, um, you can, the symbol for angle is like a little greater than sign. So that means angle. So this notation means angle. So whenever you are talking about an angle, you put this angle there. Just like when you're talking about a line segment, you put a line. Okay, so this is angle. Well, the angle right here has a letter right here, and so this is called angle B. Now we can name an angle B because there are no other angles around B, so this is just solely angle B. You can also name it by using the three letters. So um, when you are naming angles, the vertex always must be in the middle. So we can name it ABC, so angle ABC, or the last one we can name it CBA, so angle CBA. As you notice, all of the B's are in the middle. Let's try um, an, another example. We want to name angle B. So here is angle B. You notice angle B, um, this is the only angle here. It's not, there's no other angles coming off of angle B. Okay, so that's the only angle. So what we can do, we can call it angle B. Okay, we can call it angle A. B, C. Take your pencil and I like to sometimes draw the outline. So that's an angle, A, B, C. Okay, and then I'll change color so you can see. Then we, ca then we have um, angle, we can go backwards, C, B, A. Okay, let, sh let me show you what you cannot do. Okay, you cannot name this angle CAB because angle CAB means that A is in the middle. So this is angle CAB. So wherever, whatever letter is in the middle is what is the middle part of the angle. Is that's the angle? Okay. So if we're looking at this. This is angle C, A, B. So if we're looking at C, A, B, we have line C, A is a side. So line C, A is a side. And line A, B is a side. Okay, and we have angle A. Now, if we're talking about what we did beforehand with angle B, We can, our sides here, we have angle ABC or angle CBA. Our sides are AB and CB. Those are our sides. And our angle is B or our angle is ABC or our angle is CBA. So those are the ways that you can name an angle. 
Let's try another example. Let's name angle C. So the first thing we can do is see if there's any other angles around angle C and there's not. So we can name this angle C. We also can name it ACB. And we can also name it BCA. If you notice, the C's are in the middle. Okay, our last example here. It says name angle E in six different ways. Well, like I said, you can you cannot name angle you cannot name this one angle E. We cannot do that because E here has an angle here, an angle here, and an angle here. All of those are angle E's. So what we have to do is we cannot label it with just angle E. We have to label it with the three letters. So let's see what we have here. We have A, E, B. So A, E, B. We have a, E, C, and we have A, E, D. See how I'm doing this in order so I don't get lost? Okay, so we have that. Now I'm going to change colors so I can keep track. Okay, so now we can do D, E, C, and we can do D, E, E, B, and we can do D, E, A. And we can do, oh, these two are the same, aren't they? A, E, D, and D, E, A. So we're going to scratch that one off. We can do B, E, Oh, we did B-E-D. Oh, I found one, C-E-B. That one was kind of hard. So we use C-E-B. So we have, let's see here if we can make this make sense. Okay, so we have A-E-B, A-E-C, A-E-D. Okay, then we have C E B D E C D E A. I think that was it. So those are our six angle E in six different ways. Hopefully this has helped you understand um, angles. Remember the vertex, this is very important, equals the middle of the angle or the middle letter, okay, and the sides are the rays, okay. So if we have a triangle, A, B, C, here's angle B, angle A, and angle C, okay, and you can all, you can name those by just the angle A, angle B, or angle C, or you can name them using the three letters. Okay. If you are still confused, you can look through the written part of the lesson or call your teacher.